Welcome to another edition of Math Masters. Biff and I were just talking about fractions, decimals, and percents. Biff, let's see if our friends can come up with some real-life examples where they've seen fractions, decimals, or percents. Okay, sounds good, Mr. F. All right, students, on a paper or note card, write uh, as many real-life examples of fractions, decimals, and percents that you can. All right, you still thinking, Biff? Okay, students, if Biff says one of your answers, circle it or start on your paper. All right, Biff, what'd you come up with? Okay, Mr. F, I, I think this is what you wanted. Um, like the first thing was on papers, when you grade papers, yeah. you always put like a percent on there. Very good. 67%. And uh, like a decimal, is that uh, like a nickel or a dime and a quarter? Would That's right, yeah, decimals, we, we write money right? with decimals. Okay, yep. well, I was hoping it was right, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> and then fractions of stress, it's like your candy bar you got there. I'm hoping you're going to give me half, you and that would be a that half. That, candy that would bar. be a fraction, Mr. F, if I got half of it. That's right. That's very good. <laughs> or maybe more if you weren't really very hungry. Well, we'll see. Those are good examples. Other ones might be like a soccer game has halves, or football or basketball games have you know fourths or quarters. You know, cooking you could have you know half a cup or half a teaspoon or guitar hero percentages for number of notes played correctly oh well, i've done that i bet you have okay so but mr f i i mean i sort of get it but i don't really get it i mean they look like they're the same and yet they're not the same i just, i don't get what the decimals on the fractions and how are they like all alike that's a good question, Biff. Uh, fractions, decimals, and percents, they represent parts of whole numbers. So let me show you here on the computer. Okay, Mr. Riff. Okay. In order to know what a part is, you need to know what a whole is. We typically think of wholes as like a whole dollar for decimals. Or uh, for fractions, we typically think of like a whole pizza or a whole candy bar. Four pieces out of four pieces, that's one whole. And then... You know, we've seen percents from, uh, like you said before, on your papers, but we've also seen like 100% orange juice, meaning every part of that is, uh, the whole thing is orange juice, okay? Okay. But we don't always work with holes. So let's talk about fractions. Fractions are those parts or of a group or a whole number. It has uh, two so parts. Like, so it's like part of the whole thing? It's like part of the whole thing, that's right. If I broke it up? That's right. So the numerator, how many, okay, that's the top number. So in this case, well, the numerator is 1, and the denominator is of what type of piece or the total. So here we have, oh, yeah, your Mr. favorite. F. Is that chocolate? That's right, that is, is that chocolate. for me, Mr. F, if I get it right? Do I get the chocolate? Well, we'll see, we'll see. So oh, the part like on the left there you see is um, 1, that's your numerator. That's and then part, right? That's, yeah, Mr. F's part would be the whole. And then uh, the four pieces is your whole, that's the bottom number, okay? That's your denominator, all right? You get okay. that? I think so. I get the candy bar. I get that. Yeah, part. No, yes. you, no, we got to answer a question maybe, oh. maybe before we get that. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about what fraction of these triangles are blue while I talk to the students, okay? Okay. All right, students, when Biff gives his answer, I want to see your signals. You can show thumbs up if you agree with Biff. You can put your thumb down if you disagree with Biff. And Nobody if you're not disagree. Sure, Nobody disagree. Well, we'll see. It depends on you, Biff. And if you're not sure... Put your thumb to the side like this, okay? So, Biff, do you have your answer? I think so, Mr. F. All right. What are you thinking? Okay, well, I see a total of eight little pyramids or triangles. It's uh, like four on the top and four down below, so that's eight. Yep. And five of those are blue. So you're saying the answer is five? Five eights. eights. All right, students, do you agree or disagree with Biff? Show me your signals. You in the back. All right, you guys are right. Let's move on to decimals. So decimals are also parts of numbers. Now, the way it works is the decimal point separates the holes from the parts. So on the left of the decimals, the whole numbers, on the right is the parts. So here with the base 10 block, we have a one hole on the left and 34 hundredths on the right. Here we have like one hole, and one of those is shaded in, that's one tenth, because it's cut into ten pieces. So you can think of it as like a dime. If that whole bar was like a dollar, one tenth of it would be a dime. You got that? Uh, ten dimes and a dollar. All right. Sometimes we have a hole being like a hundred. If you think of it as um, a dollar, if it was a hundred pennies, one tenth of that would be like ten pennies or the equivalent of one dime. They're both equal. They're both one tenth. Okay. 
You got that? I think so. All right, so let's give you a question to try, and uh, we'll see if our friends agree or disagree. So, based on this picture, Biff, what do you think uh, the decimal would be? Okay, Mr. F, I'm seeing uh, 10 of the little boxes, and it looks like one, two, three of them are yellow. That's so right. So, three tenths, or I would put the decimal three. Decimal three, that's right. If you ever hear somebody say 0 .3, decimal three is, is basically the same thing, or that would be the same as 30 out of 100. So you can think of the same as if, if that all those vertical lines was a dollar and you had three dimes out of that, that would be the same as like 30 cents or 30 hundredths. Then that would be written in word form there, three tenths. All right. So here you go. This is the real deal. Uh, we'll give you one bite if you get this right, okay? okay. What decimal is represented by this model? Is it three and four tenths? Is it 34? Is it 34 hundredths? Or is it 34 thousandths? So it looks like there's 100 little boxes, right? Yep. Okay, so there's um, 10, 20, 30, four of them are shaded in. That's correct. But there's not a whole box filled in anywhere. It's not 100. So the first one can't be right. That's right, because the first be one's three, three holes, and four. we don't see three holes. Good job. Right. And so it's, there's obviously not 34. Like B is wrong, then 2. You're doing I'm good. I'm going to go with C, Mr. F. C. All right, let's I think check it's it out. C. Okay, students. Decimal 34. Show the teacher your signals. Thumbs up if you agree. Down if you disagree. To the side if you're not sure. Biff is going with C. So let's see. There was 10. And there's another 10. And there's another 10. That's 3 tenths plus 40. 4 hundredths. The answer yeah. is 34 hundredths, Biff. Nice job. <laughs> Here, take your bite. Take I your bite. Small bite. <laughs> Mm. All right, are you, are you ready for the last part? Mm. Are you going to be able to focus on I'm percentages? Yeah, I'm ready, Mr. F. Okay, nice job. And we'll let you have the rest of the candy bar if you can okay. finish strong here. Okay? okay, nice. All right, a percent is out of a out of 100, okay? So uh, if we take this 100 block, we have four tenths uh, filled in, or 40 hundredths. That would be the equivalent of 40%, Okay. 40 out of 100. And if you see the pie chart, it's just less than half, just like our model shows. So out of 100, okay? Okay. So this is oh, what I want you to think of. Students, you're going to listen to see if you agree with Biff. What percentage of the stars are shaded red? Uh, well, there's 10 stars that I counted. And I see one, two, three, four, five red ones. So that's half. That's right. So 50%, Mr. F. All right, 50%. Students, That's show us your signals. Answer. He says 50% of the stars are shaded red. Final answer. All right. Let's see here. Um, Five out of the 10. That's right on that part. It's half of the stars. And so half of 100 would 50. So the answer would be 50%. That's right. Or oh, that's crap. I got it. <laughs> five out of 10. Or five out of 10. more candy, Mr. F. It's yeah. great. All right. Can you, can you hold on for the review? Okay. All right. We're going to review here. Fractions, decimals, and percents. So like we talked about quarters, that's the same as one out of four of a dollar, 25 hundredths, and that's how we would write it as a decimal, and it would be 25% of a dollar. You remember that? I think so. All right, quarters, good. 25 cents out of 100 cents, right? That's right. 25 hundredths, okay. That's right, and we can write okay. that as one-fourth or 25 hundredths. Those okay. are all equal parts. And we know a dime is one out of 10. We saw that earlier, 10 out of 100. We can write it as one tenth or 10 hundredths. It's okay. equal, 10%. 10%. Yeah, and I there's that. our pie chart. I knew that. You're awesome, all right. And one penny we said was one out of 100 or one hundredth. Notice how the decimal and then a zero and then a one versus above being decimal one, okay? Oh, that's tricky. Yeah, it's tricky. Um, and one cent, or I'm sorry, one percent. Okay. All right. It's just one out of a hundred. You did an awesome job ah, today, thanks, class. Mr. And you, I get Biff, the candy bar. You can finish with that candy oh, bar. Right. Please hey, take Mr. your time Mr. with it. Mr. F, do you have any milk? <laughs> no, I don't have any milk. Oh.